temperatures in the highlands have fallen to as low as 12 C during what forecasters say has been the coldest night of the winter so far. Met Office Yellow Be aware warnings of snow and icy conditions are in place for large swathes of Scotland. By 8 o'clock GMT, temperatures had fallen to 12.2 C in Loch Glasgarnock and Tullock Bridge. Motorists have been urged to take care, with freezing temperatures and icy conditions in many areas. BBC Weather said it was 8 C in Catesbridge, at County Down, 7 C in Dalwhinnie while Dash 6C had been recorded at Senny Bridge, Powys. Temperatures of Dash 3C have been recorded in Glasgow, Edinburgh, Manchester, Enniskillen and Exeter, with Cardiff and Birmingham reaching Dash 2C. Only parts of East Anglia and South East England have avoided a frost so far because of cloud cover although Cambridge and Frittenden in Kent both saw temperatures of Dash 2C. The lowest January temperature recorded in the UK is 27.2 C in Braemar in 1982. Sharp Frost Snowfalls and ice caused some problems on the roads in Scotland on Friday and Saturday. BBC Scotland weather presenter Judith Ralston said a widespread sharp frost, with an ice risk on untreated surfaces was expected during the night. She said temperatures were due to be typically down to 5C or 6C in towns and cities, but could fall as low as 8C to 10C where snow continued to lie, possibly reaching 12C in some parts. Road maintenance operator Bear Scotland said all trunk roads in the northwest of Scotland had received double salt treatments, and 41 spreaders were patrolling routes and treating as necessary on Monday morning. A spokesman urged motorists to drive to the conditions. The A9 at Dalnaspital fully reopened at 5.20 in both directions following earlier issues with a jackknifed lorry. But the A93 was closed between Braemar and Spital of Glenshee due to snow, and the A939 was also closed between Tome and Tool and Cockbridge. Scotland Transurve, which is responsible for maintaining roads in the southwest, said it had 22 gritters and almost 350 tons of salt ready to head out on the roads on Sunday evening. Amy said 12 patrol gritters and 16 frontline vehicles would be covering roads in the southeast of the country overnight into Monday morning.